Oh, do you go in uh, like meeting white people? Do you have a, a pre-assessment on them or something? Absolutely. Me personally, I think. Um, oh, do you treat them differently? Differently, I don't know. Um, but I treat them accordingly. That's what I, that's how I put it. Um, so yeah, I guess that's inherently different, but, um, I, I, America was built on the idea that people with lighter skin were superior to people with darker skin and that people with darker skin's utility was only to make people with lighter skin rich. And that idea has been pervasive in the culture of the country since its beginning. And as good as a white person might be, that understanding is a part of them inherently, right? So not racist and anti-racist are two different things. So with that being said, I go into any interaction with good faith. Um, and I, I've actually made a statement that was kind of controversial. I said, not all racists or bad people. And what I mean by that is, is racism, based on how I understand it, is a, first of all, an institution and it's a culture. So you can be a good person in a bad institution, right? But until you have the awareness and the understanding, it's hard to undo that. I mean, think about um, even the concept of white supremacy. If every textbook tells you that anything worthwhile was done by white people, you might think white people are a little supreme. If, if, if every good thing you see on the news, every hero in a movie, every hero in a comic book, every hero in a Marvel fantasy is, looks white, you're going to think white people are the shit. And if every criminal and every uh, a robber or, or a homeless person is black, whether you're a good person or not, you're going to think, hmm, there's something about these white, these black people. There's something. For some reason, they always end up in shitty situations. So I think the supremacy is a consequence of the society we created. So I have to be aware of that. So, you know, for me, I have to, I know that I, I can't be as aggressive as Timmy. I don't have as long of a leash. I know that I have to be more articulate than Susan. I don't have as long of a leash. Right. Because the expectations uh, are that I'm not. Now, the good thing about that is that it's easier to impress white people. <laughs> and I, I use that to my advantage. But the bad thing about that, again, life is about trade offs. The bad thing about that is that um, I'm still just a black man to them at the end of the day. In the back of my head, I always think there's like they're thinking of me in a certain way, like off the bat because of the color of my skin. But like. I just don't, like, I can't really tell, like, when you're talking to them, like, they they treat you like anyone else, to be honest. I, of course, some people, like, some uh, white people, of course, will treat you different. But, like, to be honest, we do the same thing, though. I, um, I've met so many black people that, like, off the bat, I don't like white people. I don't like white people. And then they're just, like, closed off to white people, and they just only talk to black people because, like, of no reason too. And then like if and then if they if you're um friends with a white person, they'd be like they like judge you off of that too. Like they judge other black people because they're friends with white people. It's just like I understand like what happened, but like it wasn't them. Like the people that I'm talking to right now wasn't them, like wasn't their uh father or mo a mom. So I'm like a part of me is like a, a little feels a certain way, but I don't let that cloud like my judgment or like let that restrict who I talk to or whatever. But I mean, of course, I know my history. But what um what when you talk about white people look at you a certain way, tell me what you mean by that. And usually when I'm talking about like white people uh, look at me a certain way, I'm talking about older people. So it's the people that were born like uh, 1960s or 1980s or whatever. So, um, but the people that are my age, like even in my school, cause I go to a charter school. So it's mainly white people. Um, 
when they look at me as like a regular person, but they always try to make some joke like, oh, 4K Trey or something about gangs. It's just like, yeah, we get it. Like, I've heard it five million times already. So, I mean, like, they don't, they don't like look at me in a way of like, oh, he's gonna, oh, he's a danger. But like, they always like try to like make some type of joke or something like that. Or, or I think they even try to do the joke to see if you're like okay with it. And then like to see if you're the cool ones, the, the ones that they can be friends with because you're the ones that are okay with it and they want to make those jokes. So, you know. So is, is that racism? That's, that's the one part that I, I, I'm like, I, I think it is a little bit. And that's the one part that I really just don't like about white people, I guess. But 